welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I have something interesting to share with you all. I'll be talking about a recent case performed at Sir Gangaram Hospital Delhi where plasma exchange saved the life of a patient who was in dire need of a liver transplant. Talking about the case, a 52-year-old male patient was admitted to Sir Gangaram Hospital New Delhi with symptoms of jaundice since 2 weeks followed by altered consciousness. He further developed ascites which basically is the accumulation of fluid in the abdomen and decreased urine output. On further investigation he was detected to be hepatitis B virus positive and hence a diagnosis of acute on chronic liver failure secondary to hepatitis B virus reactivation was made. To talk to us in detail about this case we have with us on board Dr Piyush Ranjan vice chairman and senior consultant at the Department of Gastroenterology at Sir Gangaram Hospital New Delhi. Welcome to Medical Dialogue sir. So if you could explain to us a little about the case. He came to us with a condition which is known as acute on chronic liver failure, right? Right. Acute on chronic liver failure means that he was doing well earlier. He developed jaundice, and subsequent to that, he developed ascites, that is fluid accumulation in the stomach. Okay. And then unconsciousness, which is because of which is known as hepatic encephalopathy. Okay. And as a part of multi-organ dysfunction, he also developed renal dysfunction, that is kidneys getting affected. All right. Was found to have hepatitis B positive. so when the liver is is badly inflamed and it gets uh, this condition which is known as liver failure mm-hmm. and there is a suspicion that there is underlying chronic liver disease that is liver cirrhosis and there is there are all these things which i told you that is ascites encephalopathy right. progressively increasing bilirubin that is jaundice then the treatment option remains transplant that is the best thing which we can do there is medicine for hepatitis b which he was obviously started on okay but when things do not improve then we have to start working for liver transplant okay okay so this person did not have any donor so there was no okay. question of having a liver transplant so we were dependent either on medicines for hepatitis b which take time to act and the response rate is also not more than 30 to 40% mm-hmm. in a situation like this okay okay so then we did for him what is known as plasma pheresis plasma exchange if you can briefly explain the role of plasma exchange in liver failure patients so this is a known treatment which is being done for many other conditions also for liver it has been we have been using it more and more now okay so this is a process like dialysis So in this what happens the entire blood is centrifuged in a process like dialysis okay plasma component is removed the cells are returned back and along with the cells fresh frozen plasma is given which is returned back to the patient okay so with this what happens that initially it was thought that this acts as a bridge to transplant that is while you are preparing for transplant this will keep other systems okay bring the bilirubin down also reduce the creatinine and improve the consciousness okay okay so for this patient since there was no transplant option we started plasma pheresis we continued with plasma pheresis and gave medicines for hepatitis b okay and this patient showed significant improvement by third plasma pheresis session his bilirubin came down by more than 50% well no. and his consciousness improved so that was the initial support which he got from plasma pheresis and subsequently the medicines were continued and other medical for hepatitis b antiviral drugs and other supportive treatment and then now two months three months down the line he is completely fine no problems amazing so this is what is plasma pheresis is so we use it for lot of acute and chronic liver failure in alcohol related hepatitis or autoimmune flare lot of liver related conditions and how do you think the procedure will benefit the general population no no in people who are looking for transplant people who are very critically sick so these this is a the procedure which is for a select group of patients okay patients who have specifically what i told you acute and chronic liver failure or mm-hmm. acute liver failure 
in whom either they are waiting for a transplant or transplant is not possible you are saying the bracket is really small right this is a small group sub very small sub group mm-hmm. of very sick patients so okay. it is not for meant for general population like that okay correct correct and what are the indications for this procedure acute liver failure okay and acute on chronic liver failure any further message that you would want to add so this is this is an evolving field you know this is an area of ongoing research as we have more and more data then we'll know what is the proportion of patients who benefit obviously this is not a panacea for all such patients right and whenever we have to do this this has to be done early in the course you can't do it very late in the course in terminal patient and then expect that the patient will improve mm-hmm. so if done in the right group of people at the right time this is a good option very good okay. option thank you so much dr piyush thank you for your wonderful insights that's all for today stay tuned to medical dialogues for latest updates never miss a medical update from medical dialogues like subscribe and press the bell icon